Hello fabulous doll people. I have a kind of a quick box opening. Today is Monday, March 21st. It is my 50th birthday. I'm less excited about it than you might imagine. Actually, you might imagine about how excited I am about it. Um, I got my black cherry Xiaoyu head on Friday. Uh, I knew I had the three-day weekend coming up, so you know you always kind of fill it with stuff. And I haven't had a chance to do anything. I mean, I got some stuff done, but not... Anyway, today I've been like spring cleaning. I start my last class on my master's tomorrow. My desk is a disaster. You can probably see doll boxes on my bed. In theory, I'll finally have my room all finished, unpacked. Everything will be put away tonight. Who knows? I downloaded Windows 11 today, which my desktop is like super slow. And I'm hoping that'll fix it. But I feel like it's going to take a million, million years. Every time I check on it, it's like barely moved. Oh, well, gee, I hope that is done before I start class tomorrow. But, um, I got my doll, and I have, gonna have, I got a couple little other updates I figured I'd go over with you guys. I have, like, a ton of time. I was kind of in the middle of stuff. And then my niece went to go pick up my daughter. Like, no one has left this house in weeks. <laughs> so I was, I really wanted to open the head right away. I was very excited to get it. But everybody was home. And then they would say they were leaving, and then no one would leave. Um, and even if, you know, I mean, I, I usually, sometimes I do them in the living room, but a lot, I, I mean, I can go do it in my room, but I don't like to when they're home because like somebody will just walk in, even when I say I'm making a video and then, um, they're loud, they make a lot of noise. They're worse than the dogs. I think the dogs make less noise. So anyway, I was only a little bit worried about this one. So she messaged me and reminded me I had one payment left, which I had honestly forgotten about. There were small payments, there were $53. I sent it right out. And what well, was a little bit of a problem, and it was a weird error I had gotten, I think with my first payment on the heads, I did three payments. Um, and it was that she had received all the money she could receive for the month, but she fixed it right away. So then I sent the payment, you know, again, it went through. And she had the doll head out like the next day. And I was like, I hope she's not, like, doesn't think I'm counting the seconds because I forgot the payment. So, but I think it's because, I want to say it was the end of February, maybe the third week of February or something. Maybe the second week of February. Because right around my puppies were going home, which is why I forgot about it. Because when the puppies go home, it's like chaos. It's like grand chaos. And uh, it was when... I think the conflict was really kind of amping up and I think she wanted to close out her sales and get everything shipped out before, you know, the actual shit shit hit the fan fan. Um, I don't know if you guys have been able to garner this for my attitude about mail, but I have this kind of childlike trust in the mail system. Like I feel like, you know, no matter what goes on, the mail should be allowed to go through because it's important. Um, but I, when left, I didn't even check on it for a while because I don't tend to. And then I got stuck in Moscow for quite a while. And then I was like, oh, because, you know, they've been sanctioning, as they should, the heck out of Putin. And then I was like, oh, maybe they're just going to shut Russia down and it's just going to chill there. And, you know, I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's way bigger things are going on. I'm not going to, like, die because, you know, I feel would feel bad about my doll head stuck in a box in Russia for the rest of its life, but, you know, I, w I was thinking, oh, it may, it may or may not come. I, I kind of moved into that zen, it may or may not come spot, but, uh, she came, she came Friday, um, this one moved not as fast as my Elena whenever it hit, uh, New York. She took a weird kind of a tour of New York. She went into weird spots. I'm like, why is she still doing stuff in New York? Because usually my dolls hit New York and they might chill in customs for a while, but then they're just out. Like, I think that the big distribution center there, which is where the international mail comes in, um, most of those centers have an airport, like the one that I used to work at in Spokane. We had our own planes. So we just put stuff on the planes and went to the next place. So most of the time when I have stuff in New York, it doesn't go anywhere else in New York. It's like there and then it's in Spokane, which is the other airport center. But this she was she got a tour of New York. She's New Jersey. I think Rhode Island. I think she must have somehow missed the flight 
anyway, it, it wasn't a huge <laughs> detour. It was just weird. I was like, why is, what, what? But, you know, but I would like to have a little box appreciation because this box is in, like, fantastic shape. It looks like she just she came over to my house, dropped the doll off. I mean, <laughs> amazing, amazing condition. Like, it's amazing. And as somebody who works at the post office, I can tell you how we treat your boxes. So, anyway, without any further ado, I'm going to open her up. I'm not going to put her on the body today. Um, the bigger issue that I have is my Lucy Wynn head has that beautiful wig from Nico's Dolls. And I don't want it smashed. So, she may... Well, and she's got to go get her face up anyway. So, I might just stick her on the head or on the body just for like a minute to see how it looks. But she's by no means going to take that body over right away. Um, I was going to send her to, I think it's Nabo, N-A-B-O. Um, she's a face-up artist in China. I really like her style. I was going to do her as a demon girl. I had seen a couple people that had done her as kind of um, gothic. Like real true, true gothic. And I really liked it. Originally, I got her as sort of a fill-in for my Eerie. Because I was thinking, well, you're never going to get one. And there was something about the face that reminded me, you know, slight, not super, 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 but a little bit of eerie. And, uh, but then I, so I was going to do a kind of, my eerie, I kind of want to do is like a sort of a creepy kawaii kind of, kind of like what I have in mind for my Elena, but more, more in the cute direction. Um, but then I saw a couple of these girls done real goth. So I thought, well, I'll do her as a demon girl. But this artist's style, she uses a lot of golds. Um, and I thought she might be a really cute fairy. And I, I think I can get more than one set of wings from May for Life. So May for Life isn't retiring, but I think she's just going to work with uh, doll companies now. Because I know she was, for a while, she was mainly doing large orders of wings for full sets. And then she sent out emails to all of her past customers and let us know she wasn't really going to be working commissions anymore. And did we want to order, and did we want to order uh, another set of wings? And so I said, yes. And so I guess it's a pretty long list. Cause she said, okay, well you have plenty of time to think about it. Cause we were bouncing ideas back and forth. And she said, cause I'm going to get a pair for my, um, lilac, uh, on junior version two. And she said, yeah, got lots of time. She was like, I got people ahead of you. She goes, I'll just, I'll let you know when I'm ready. Um, I've been doing a lot of doll concept or art lately. Um, I haven't even started on the wings. But it did occur to me that I could maybe do her as a fairy. Uh, it would be a dark fairy, but... And get another set of wings, possibly. I don't know. I, I just had, had no idea, obviously. So when I got the box, I, I could hear something moving. So I wasn't sure they were still doing the canisters. I really love the canister idea. Um, there was a company. I can't remember the, the name of the company. And they used to send them the canisters. It was a long time ago. And either the company was named Kill You or the head, the sculpt was named Kill You. That's the only thing I remember. It wasn't my style, but it was a cool head. It was a cool sculpt. And they shipped them in these these canisters. And I thought, well, that's the, that's the best idea ever. And Black Cherry does too. Eh, it's so cute. I'm so easily amused. Like, I, I'm just so easily amused. Because I love this. It's so amazing. And it's like a cardboard with the, the metal top. Um, my... I call it my crap corner because I don't do crafts, but all my doll stuff is in those like plastic stackable kind of craft drawers. Um, that's going to get cleaned too. So it'll, I'll have to find a spot for it. I, I got another tote that my, my sister for Christmas, she put all of our Christmas stuff in totes and it just happened to be the same size as this one I got for extra stuff. Cause I'm filling up the ones I got real fast. It's the clothes. Um, so I should have quite a bit of space. Oh, she set a little candy. Looks like a chicken. <laughs> it's cute. It's adorable. That's funny. And then we've got, oh, how cool is this? It's got to be her COA. And look at the back. I almost, I like almost hate to open that. That's so cool. It's wax. It says black cherry. Oh, that is just, that's super cool. But I am going to open it. So even though. My, my daughter bought one of these. Uh, my daughter is Wiccan now, and she got a wax stamper. Now, this is kind of, it's, it comes off solid, it doesn't break. Oh, that's neat. So, that's nice. So, it's like one big piece instead of breaking. So. Oh, neat. 
neat. So there's a little card. I think. I don't know. It's hard. Some of these, like, I look at them and go, oh, this is for sure going on my cork board. And then some I'm like, is this something I'm supposed to keep with the COA? Because, you know, there's going to be a pin in it. And it says Moon Version Shao Yu. I don't know what that means. Did I get the closed side one? I don't remember. I, I didn't I didn't plan I didn't plan to order that one, so I wonder if I did. Um Xiao Yu. What is that supposed to be? Six five five or B five five one thirty twenty twenty two is the date. Oh that's really cool. This is very cool. Oh, look at that back. That's neat. Oh, it's neat. Oh, that's cool. It's like a credit card. <laughs> that's what it feels like. Certificate. Oh, that I love that. I really like that. Very nice. I am I'm liking all of this. And this is securely packed. Like I don't oh, and it's also obviously blessed or something because that box is in great condition. Hey, there's one more box on the bed. I'm sorry, bug. Alright, so let's open her up. She got the shrink wrap on her. I hate shrink wrap. I'm a, I couldn't use shrink wrap when I work at Walmart because I can't, I lack the mental and physical acuity to make shrink wrap do what I want. Like when somebody had, when they had something needed to be wrapped, they'd go get somebody else. I can cut shrink wrap, but I always wrap it wrong. So, let's see if I can figure out how to open this. As I'm sure you know, I watched a couple of my videos and a little challenge. Oh, that's super easy. Like it just pops. Pops out is super easy, and then there's some more foam inside. I got YouTube on this. I've been watching a lot of disappearance stuff lately. So there's a little thin piece on the top, and then there's more packaging. But these guys have got safe packaging down to a science. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. So she's got a style that, um, oh, I just love her. Um, it's one I didn't used to like as much, and I think that Kill You head sort of fell into that zone. She's a very small SD head. Like, I heard a couple people say, oh, she's just, oh, she's really pretty, has a beautiful head. Okay, I'll show you. I was talking about it. Show you. Really, she's very delicate. But the style is, like, very realistic. Um... And I used to not really care for that because I know like kind of in the beginning it was, um, you know, like none of us love the your anime, your weird anime dolls sort of stigma, but I was into anime and I was thrilled in the beginning to have these dolls that reminded me of my favorite anime characters and that there was kind of a style, okay, I guess I'm touching everything, but I don't know, don't all my hands on her and I've been like spring cleaning today. I mean, I washed my hands before I came in here, but, um... And now I really like it. I want to say, and I'm probably going to screw this up, because I always want to call them Navarro doll, but I think they're Navarro doll that does the hyper-realistic. And I have a huge appreciation of their dolls. But I had looked at them and thought, I don't, I don't want any. But then I started looking at them, because they're very kind of neoclassical faces. And I thought, those would be the coolest demons ever. So now I want one. I don't like the bodies. They kind of do the thing that Masket doll does with the bodies, where they're very, like, 14-year-old. Um girl like they're not they're not real mature but they also kind of hold to that classical look um so I would hybrid them but I really like them so there she is I got the lightest color which I don't remember what that is I know they have like a tan it's kind of like a normal skin and a tan and I guess this is supposed to match or be very close to fairyland normal skin which is and then the body that I have, which isn't the Fairyland body, it's the doll's own one. It's very close to Fairyland normal skin, so she should go really good on that. And I've seen this head hybrided on that body looks good. Which makes sense, because the Lucy Wynn is also a very small SD head. So, there she is. She's very pretty. Um, they have another sculpt I like, whose name I cannot for the life of me remember. I always hope, because um, their MSD size dolls are really cute. Uh, not... I mean, they're cute in themselves, but they do really beautiful fantasy colors in those. I have never seen them do that with their SD ones. So I would like to see that. I really like her. I really, really like her. Very delicate. The 
resin has got a very nice feel to it, but it feels delicate. Like I, I would be worried to, to drop her. And you can see, like you can see the magnet. You see it there. So it's not as thick as some of the resins. Um, definitely well worth the price. Um, I want to say she was 150. So whatever. So on other things, I do love her. It's so beautiful. On other things going on, I did a thing. <laughs> things. I got a uh, Fafner from Magic Mirror Dolls, and I think she's teamed up permanently with Crowbar. I don't know. Uh, seems like it. And that's my going to be my very first MSD doll, which you know I was always said I was only going to get color, you know. And but the same with Fafner. So here's what happened with Fafner. I don't think you guys, I don't want you guys to think I'm falling down the slippery slope. I'm just going to be like, well, that's it. I'm going to start getting MSD because there's so many good MSD dolls. And a lot of the independent artists like the MSD better. They told me it's easier to work with. Even though I went back and I was looking at Nanny's posts as you go back. Because I'm always bugging her. Like, I'm, I do bug her. I try not to be crazy about it. But like if I'm talking to her, I go, you know, if you do any more SD Maves, I'll just pay for one right now. Because I think she sold them for like $148. Um... And I would gladly, and if you have one, I will buy one from you. Um, and also, because she had asked, I want to say it was the middle of last year, if she was going to do one, what color would we want? And I was stoked. And then there's this other girl, I don't remember her name, um, who's also waiting. And she said, oh, don't get too excited. She said she asks every now and then, and I've never seen them come out again. And so... She, I love her dolls. I love them so much. I love uh, Maeve. I love Orla. I love she, almost all of her girls, her fashion girls. Um, and I've always said to her, you should do more sculpts in SD. And she said, I guess there's only 10 of the SD Maeve. And she said they didn't sell very good. So I don't know what that was about. You know, who knows? But she did say when she listed Fafner that she had a bunch of people asking if she would be doing any more. She said she didn't really know. And that she might not even be doing dolls anymore. So I really loved Fafner. She had little things. And I guess she's supposed to be a dragon girl. But to me she just screamed demon. She screams demon. She screams imp. And I thought she would be so cute with my Miwa. So I got one in purple. And then I immediately was able to snag a petal dress from... She goes by bh.pandora on Instagram. Um, she has an Etsy shop. And I want to say it's Honey Bunny or Bunny Honey or something. Um, and I had always loved those dresses. And I kept asking her, are you going to do SD? And she's like, no. <laughs> I'm not. Um, so I bought one for her because I didn't want anything to cover up the body. Uh, and initially, I had thought I would put her with my um, Hoblods demon girl. Um, but that's a very serious, severe-looking demon girl. And she has that chainmail outfit, and I would have to go kind of hog-wild to get something for her. I mean, I had I kind of had visions of her in something like the Elvira black string, you know, those kind of bikinis they wear at, like, sporting events or not something you've probably ever seen anybody at the beach in. Um, because the body is so pretty. And that was kind of the other thing, is she has a very mature body. She's not a little, she's cute. You know, she's very cute. But she's not, like, super cutesy, which, this probably have some MSD stuff, is they're too cutesy. Not like they used to be. Like, I think in the beginning, if you wanted MSD, they were all very cutesy and immature, and then that was a problem. And then they became more mature. Um, but I was worried she wouldn't make them again, or she won't make anything anymore. Um... And I would never have a doll from her. And then I wanted to support her. I want her to keep doing stuff. Um, and I just, I just loved, I just loved that doll. I was like, oh my God, look at this doll. And then she had done a, a video. She had some that were special colors that she sold before the release. And the dolls posed so cute. It looked so cute in her hand. And then I got the purple. And the outfit that I got for her is wine. And the colors match me was outfit so well. And I was like, I should just, this is meant to be. Should I have bought another doll right now? No. And certainly not a size I don't collect. But I did. I put on a layaway. did the six-month layaway. I'm, of course, I'm hoping to pay her off early. Because um, everything else is paid off. I paid off my Dolk layaway. I paid off the last of my BGD house 
um, thing. In fact, the outfit and the eyes are almost here. So as, the only thing I had left I was paying on was my Fairyland layaway. And I was like, that'll be good. I'm going to, um, fingers crossed, I'm putting the Sanity on layaway April 3rd. And then probably I'm not going to try to get nothing else for, until that Fairyland layaway is paid off. I really want to pay that off soon. I've got two people left on the split that owe between the two of them about 500 bucks. And I would want to take all that plus like another $200 and throw it at it. And that will almost pay off because that'll be two, four, six like three and a half payments and we've already we've made three out of nine so that'll there'll, there'll be three left two and a half because <clears throat> I just that's a high payment for me every month and I don't like to have two big layaways and the thing I like about Posh is, is Posh is like um it's just not coming till you pay it but that's also not good for me because I forget about stuff so it's nice like Denver I'm getting the Fairyland order through Denver at all and they send me an invoice and there's this date and so it's hard for me to forget um of course it'd be hard I won't forget about this Pasha because I can't wait to get her I have like so many plans for her it's I already have her dressed and I'll probably have her wig pretty soon and whatever so so anyway so there's my dolly ramble stuff I really got financially kind of jacked at the beginning of the year um the IRS took almost all of my return uh and then my school, I was thinking I was going to get all my excess money and they're giving me almost nothing. I guess I'll go ahead and get my, I was going to get my English degree because you can do proofing with it. And because I already have my associates, my bachelor's, I think, I, I know I don't have to get my associates again in English. I might have to get my bachelor's and my master's or I can't remember what the, the counselor told me. Or I might be able to just get my master's because I already have a bachelor's. I don't know. So I'll probably just, at the end of this class, I'll just start my English. Because um, I apparently don't have enough jobs. Unless I get like a whopping raise. I'm due for a pretty big raise. But you know, how that goes. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. It's very cold and rainy here. I was actually going to do a lot of stuff with my horses. And I'm going to do a lot of stuff outside. Um, I found a farrier that's like a normal human being. So I plan to ride my face off this summer. I'm thinking about breeding again. I haven't had a foal in like a zillion years. And my girls are getting old. And I think about breeding a foal. I don't know. When you turn 50, it's like I'm like, I haven't done any, a lot of stuff I like I haven't done lately. And I'm like, you should probably do it now because you know, you're old. So I probably want to get on that. Anyway. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're having a fantastic dolly day. Thank you for being here with me while I got this lovely lady. She's really pretty. I can't wait to show you how she comes out. I'm really excited about that artist. She's so expensive. Like $300 after the exchange rate for the face up. It was crazy. But I hope I love her style. I think um, when I do my want list this year, I'm going to do a list of face up artists I want to get this in the future. I'm not going to say this year. I've gotten really kind of name collected with face up artists. <laughs> And it isn't that I want their name in my collection. It's that I love their style. And I just really want to doll by them. So, anyway. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. And uh, stay safe out there. Bye.